Hey guys, PuzzleLego here. I've been trying to improve the design of my old Rubik's Cube. This Rubik's Cube is a bit bigger, but still the same size as a normal Rubik's Cube. None of the pieces fall out. And just like a real Rubik's Cube, you can turn it. You may notice this time it's much smoother. Here's a demonstration of me making a simple checker pattern with the cube. It's quite obvious that the sides look far easier to turn than my old Rubik's Cube, which got jammed up due to a reason I'll explain later. There we go. So as you can see, this Rubik's Cube is a bit more stable. The pieces don't fall out all the time. The fundamentals of this cube are the same as a real Rubik's Cube and my old Rubik's Cube, but I'm going to re-explain them anyway. So you have your corner pieces and your edge pieces. The edge pieces slot between the center pieces and they're stuck there. The only way for them to move is to slide or rotate. Corner pieces slot between three edge pieces with these little circles. If you have three edge pieces, then the corner pieces are fully stuck and cannot move. Here's how the cube rotates. The edges and centers create a slight curve so that when it's rotating, none of the pieces fall out. The problem with the old cube was that the curve was too large, so when the cube was halfway through rotation, some of the edge pieces had to go up a significant amount in order to rotate. And once the centers rotate 90 degrees, the hooks on the edges reattach, and none of the pieces can fall out again. All the pieces will be linked in the description. Okay, so you start with this Technic piece. Get a half Technic pin, two of them, and put them into this piece. Make six of these. four of them around the edges of this, you need to make sure that they exactly go to this spot or the cube could be too tight or too loose. Now get a 3L bar, put it through the center, and then line the last two up. Again, make sure these pieces are lined up with what I'm doing, otherwise the cube will be too tight or too loose. Okay, now get a 2x2 two two plate and a 2x2 two two tile, get 6 of them and put them on each of these, corresponding to a real cube.
each edge you're gonna need uh, this modified brick and these two pyramid pieces attach them like so uh, and get a 2x2 two two tile with two 1x2 two plates attached corresponding spot depending on what color you used it shouldn't fall out corner pieces you're going to need two of these modified bricks put a one two by two tile on a two by two plate attach three of them like so one by one plate they have the right colors on them slot them into the cube Now that two of your layers are completed, make sure you rotate the top just a little bit so that you can slot these pieces in. 